Hey everybody, it's me, Yoko. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Revelation. Today, guys, we are not doing any astral sorcery. <gasps> what? You say? Yeah, yeah, we're not doing any astral sorcery. At, at least we're not we're not planning to. <laughs> we are, however, going to be getting the base ready for more astral sorcery. So it's it's guess it's kind of like we're doing that. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I came across this this item that I'm really intrigued to try. Uh, it's this thing right here, the Feral Flare Lantern. It says it will slowly illuminate a large area. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm going around and busting down the torches around the uh, kind of centered around my workshop because I want ow I want to see. Uh, how this thing works. I'm really curious. I'm going to leave my lanterns up here on the fence post because uh, I, I like them and I don't want to have to re-put them up and down and all that. And I saw you up here. I saw you up here. Um, today's episode is probably going to be pretty short and sweet because I don't have anything planned other than really just kind of doing a bit of uh, uh, little uh, prep work for what's going to be a I think a pretty major overhaul of the astral sorcery area. I've I've learned a bit more uh, through my experiences in uh, you know uh, reading and all that kind of stuff. So I feel like I know better how the um, uh, how to lay out my astral sorcery stuff. So I want to do that, but in order to do that, I'm going to have to uh, make some room here. And so one of the ways I'm going to do that, I'm not moving this workshop. I might move these crates a bit. Uh, but one of the ways that I'm going to do that is by moving the smeltery. And um, let's see. I'm just looking for torches here. Can I get all these? Uh, I think I've... Yeah, I think I got all the torches here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the smeltery over to uh, right kind of in this area right here. I, I partitioned off way too much farmland for myself. I don't need that much farmland. I just need a little spot right over there for what I, what I think I'm going to do at least. What I'm planning to do. Why is that still lit up? Um, oh, I bet I know why it's still lit up. Because Okay, so uh, full disclosure, I actually stuck this lantern up uh, first and started taking the torches down. And then I realized that would actually be a better test if I took all the torches down and then put the lantern up. So it probably actually started to light up stuff a little bit. So, yeah, look, check this out. This thing is so cool. See that? See that light come on over there? Ooh, really? Does it go that far? Nice. But you'll notice what it's doing. It's it's just lighting up the area. There's no like visible light source. There's no torch. There's no weird glowing sphere every five or six uh, five or six blocks. It's just it's beautiful. Look at this. This is amazing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you are you are you are a new favorite there, Mr. Feral Flare Lantern. Feral Flare. Oh, this is great. Uh so you know, I noticed the same mod has the Mega Torch in it now too. And um yeah, again, my series is all about hiding from monsters. We've got a ritual shield over the base that's uh, pushing them back. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a a magic a magic lantern over here that's lighting the place up to prevent more from spotting. And now I'm thinking, well, I could probably put a mega torch out too, <laughs> and just straight up prevent things from spotting. So yeah, I'm a coward. <laughs> what can I say? Here, let me let's go let's go beat something up. We'll show we'll show everybody how tough we are. Come here, you. Wow, yeah, take that. And that, yeah, pow. All right, tough guy. <laughs> Total tough guy. Moving right along, let's get this smeltery taken care of. It looks like I just need to finish unloading it. So there's another ingot, and then what we got? Oh, 20 blocks. Ooh, I should have been paying more attention. Okay, so we're going to let that drain. And uh, while we're doing that... Um, might do just a teeny bit of astral sorcery. <laughs> I noticed when I was talking the, uh, just a bit ago that there are two uh, rock crystals sitting here, and neither of these will actually grow. Uh, oh, and we can turn that that stuff off. There we go. Neither of these rock crystals will grow if there's uh, another one in that spot with them. So let's put you back in. Let's put you back in there. No, it, they just switched on me. There we go. Let's put you back in there, and let's go put you over here yeah look at that um oh let's see i have 
new constellations, guys. I went a walking out into the woods and I came across uh, eventually, <laughs> after opening up quite a bit of my map, some shrines that had blank parchments in there, uh, blank constellation papers, and that allowed me to learn uh, some more constellations, some of the dim ones. And I think I have papers for all of them now, but I haven't found all of them in the sky yet. Uh, so that's I just jumped up here to just see if maybe there was a new one and it doesn't look like there is but that's cool There's some some fun stuff uh, that we can do with some of those uh, Constellations as far as attunements go and uh, I'll have to do a little bit more research into that because I don't know uh, tons about it yet All right The smeltery is looking about done here. So let's start breaking it down and I will uh, I'll be right back Once I get that taken care of I have these small storage crates, uh, this one right here that was with the smeltery, and then there's this one over here that's just kind of in my garden catch-all. I want to move them and get them out of the way. I don't want to empty them out, though, and move them uh, bit by bit like that. So I'm going to make this thing here. Uh, they're actually addition storage crates, so I'm going to make the storage crate keeper. And I'm going to need some black quartz, and I only have one piece of that right now, but I do have... Uh, or over here and the thing I have at my disposal currently that will allow me to grind this up and get more uh, than just one piece out of it is the grinder from Astral Sorcery. So hooray. Let's use this guy here. Great. We got 13. Let's see. We got 13 crushed black quartz out of those seven pieces of ore, so that's cool. I just need to smelt them up over here. Let's get our storage crate keepers. What's going on? What am I missing? Oh, my planks. I'm missing my planks. Well, how about this ironwood? Let's use that. That was from uh, my journeys earlier when I was out uh, trying to find the uh, shrines so that I could get the uh, blank constellation papers. So what you do is you take your storage crate keeper and you just toss it in your storage crate and then when you pick it up, it will keep all of its contents. Uh, but it only does it that once. Once you set the crate back down, then the storage crate keeper inside of it disappears. I need to uh, dig out this hill a little bit because I want to kind of recess it back in here. I might take out quite a bit of it. I haven't decided yet, but I'll, I'll take care of that uh, off camera and then uh, I will be right back. I think the controller, yeah, we'll go right here. I'm starting to look a little more real. Is that too close? Is that too close? And I want windows there, there. Put the lava tank right here. Hey, you're gonna squish my carrots, man. Get away. Get away. Come on. Come on over here. How many of you guys can I kill at the same time? Come on over here. Come on over here. Let's see. How many of you guys can I kill at the same time? Oh, wow. Oh, there's a. There's quite a bit here. Alright. Here we go. Ready? Oh, <laughs> Oh, I think they're getting affected by the, uh, the the buff here. Let's get out, get out here, get them all, get them all together here. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. <laughs> oh, stop it, man! Stop it. It's too much. I can't handle it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. And then just to kind of finish it off here, let's do, uh, let's see, how many we got? Uh, three by, so we got 12. 
Nine, uh, how about, uh, we'll do the seared pavers again. Yeah, there we go, that'll look nice. Cool, there we go, nice big smeltery. Nice big smeltery. Uh, oh, yeah, missing a few things here though, let's put those on. So I gotta get the lava and then I need the uh, hardened fluid duck and a servo. This is different than what I was using earlier. Earlier I was using the fluid uh, transfer node, but I think I wanna do it this way instead. Um, so, right there. And then the fluid node's gonna go in there. And then we put the servo on top of that and set the redstone to ignore. And voila, there we go. We're feeding lava into there. And then I'll feed lava into this at some way, some point, somehow. So cool, there we go. We got that all situated. I'm gonna do uh, a little bit of changing up of how this is laid out back here now. I'll clean up some of this farmland and uh, do something with these edges. And uh, yeah, then we'll have our have a really, really handsome looking, uh, handsome looking uh, smeltery area over here. Real handsome smeltery. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, I like it. Let's see. I'm gonna put you there. Yeah, look at this. We're gonna do it like this. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. For this part right over here, I want to move, let's see, it's this one, right? Yeah, I want to move this uh, storage crate. I want to have it sitting on the ground this time, or at least at ground level. I'm killing my back, bending over, picking stuff up out of them. So I want to make, I think, um, what's it, the item duck, quack. We'll pick one, item duck, transfers items, transfers items. Yeah, there we go, okay. Uh, no, it's this one, yeah, it's the opaque one is the one I want, because that's the one that I can afford. <laughs> I need to put in my, <laughs> nope, not the sharpening kit, the ingot cast, there we go. Ingot cast in, put my tin, nope, that's the lead. Put my tin in. Stash some of this stuff while that's doing that. I really need to do something about storage. <laughs> it's getting to that. It's getting to that point. It's getting to that point. I mean, look, I have empty storage drawers over here. What in the world's wrong with me? Uh, oh yeah, tin's fast. Okay, we got our tin and our lead. Let's make our opaque item ducks. Quack. There we go. And our servos. Yep. Gonna. Oh, got two of them. Oh wait, no, no, no. I don't need hardened ones. Let's see. I need regular servos. Two servos. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put that item duct there. And I'm gonna put this item duct here. While I'm down here, I'm gonna put on servo. Set it to ignore redstone. Ditto, ignore redstone. And fill my hole like a good golfer. Fill my divot. There, now, um, here, let's, let's do this. Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to, where are you? There you go, break you. I must break you because you're not really that full now. Okay, and voila, this should, and let's go ahead and test it. Should push stuff. Ooh, look at that, almost a full stack. Wow, if I go up two more, two more levels, two more levels, I can have a full stack. Um, this should, let's, uh, once this is smelted down, I will. Where is it? There you are, the redstone clock. This is my least favorite way to trigger a spigot, I have to say, a faucet, uh, whatever it's called. It just seems really, really cheap to me. And, uh, and it's like you have a clock that's just running all the time, which is terrible, just absolutely terrible. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to do right here now though. So yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. All right, that's, while we're waiting for that, I can just stash all of this stuff in here for right now until some later date when I actually have some kind of storage system that I can pump it all into. And that goes for all of this as well. We'll put, it, put that in there. Is there anything in here that should go in there? Uh, I guess I could put my ores in there too. I think it'll fit. You know what's funny is I've used these storage crates from Actually Edition so many times and I don't think I have ever, ever, ever upgraded one past small. 
<laughs> I bet it's magnificent. It's probably a, it's probably it's an amazing and liberating experience to use one of the large ones. And I just I have no idea because I've never done it before. Uh, what does it even cost to do that? Let's see. Uh, crates. Chest to storage crate. Oh, you can use these tokens, by the way, to turn a regular chest into a storage crate uh, in place, uh, in situ, as you as you say. Uh, and then you can use the small to medium. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so you make a medium one. <laughs> Makes sense. All right, void crystal blocks. That's uh, charcoal, right? Coal, regular coal. Ah. You need how many? You need four of them? Cool, we'll have to make one of those at some point. That sounds like fun. Actually, can we do it right now? Uh, oh, how, how's our, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's do some more cobble here. Let's see, did it, did it come in? What's going on here? Okay, we've got 13. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> it's not going to work if I turn it off. Cool. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Let's make uh, let's let's make a, let's make a bigger chest. Let's make a bigger bigger storage crate to put in there. That's that's amusing. I have never never really done that before. Okay, so we're gonna need some more wood. Yeah, wood casing, and then we're gonna need uh, chests four chests, and then we. Put it together like this to make a small storage chest. All right, and then would it say it needed uh, four coal blocks? Uh, here, let's do it like this. A real fast way to whip a few out. You say R, and then plus, and then just one, two, three, four. There we go. There we go. The medium storage crate. Cool. And then to uh, make it an upgrade, we just do that. And there we go. Small to medium storage upgrade. Now what we just do here is we shift, right click, and pow. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's got a green band on it. That is so nice. And uh, there we go. It's got an extra page. Cool. Anyway, guys, uh, oh my gosh, I just, I can't get over how I look in this thing. Uh, I think that's going to be all the time I have for today. I know it's been kind of a short episode. It wasn't probably the most exciting episode, although, you know, we did actually, uh, you know, rig up some pipes and pipes always make everything more exciting. And let's not forget the medium storage crate. I mean, that was a boon. Um, and of course the feral flare lantern right there that was worth the price of admission today absolutely everybody write that one down remember this this is going to be this is going to be your best friend when it comes to setting up your base so super duper affordable uh just need some glowstone and some gold you can get glowstone a uh, a couple of different ways in the overworld without having to go to the nether which by the way i'm going to go to the nether <laughs> with my cape I, I don't know if i'll take you guys or not i'll if it look if it's exciting then uh then i'll bring you along otherwise I'll ju i'm just gonna go collect some resources i need some nether quartz and stuff like that so anyway i'm rambling on and on and on now guys thanks for coming by i really appreciate the views get leave it a like tell your friends subscribe all that good stuff yada 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 you've heard it before have a good one Woo, let me know you go revelation